Um, all right, so let's just get started in our seats. Go ahead and close the eyes. Ground down through the sit bones. Roll the shoulders up to the ears and down the back a few times. It's beginning to arrive in the space, arriving in your body. It's Sunday. Just take it easy. Take a deep breath in through the nose, filling up, expanding the belly, the ribs, and then hold the breath at the third eye. Just allow it to resonate there for a moment. Big clearing sigh out, let it go. And one more time, deep breath in. Hold. Exhale. Starting class with three ohms. Take a deep breath in. chanting, we're going to chant to Sita and Rama. Sita is the embodiment of the divine feminine energy, the Shakti energy, the Panchamama, like the all embodied goddess energy, right? And then Rama is the embodiment of the masculine energy. So the more like like our structured energy, right? So like our, our checklists are like go, 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 gold oriented, like bigger, better, faster, stronger, that kind of energy, right? So finding the balance between these two energies is like what the goal is, right? So remaining like focused, keeping our goals in mind, but also like not forgetting to invite in like our hopes, our dreams, our intuition, like what we really want out of life. <clears throat> so I sing and then you sing and then I sing.
allow that mantra to resonate in the body, to resonate in the mind. Just take a deep breath in, filling up, filling up with all that divine energy. Then exhale, just send it out. Good. Gently blinking the eyes open. Let's just start by reaching our arms up overhead today. So reach the arms up overhead, find a full body stretch, drop the head back, really reach up and then interlace the hands and flip the palms of the hands up to the sky. Drop the head back, gaze goes up, breathe in, exhale, shine the palms to the front of the space, drop the shoulders between the ears, but it's not working again. <laughs> I can never get that thing to work. <laughs> Good, find space, inhale, exhale, thanks. Good, inhale, reach the arms up, find space, reach. On the exhale, catch the right ear with the left hand and elongate the right fingertips down to the mat. Good, you got it? Sorry guys, technical difficulties always. <laughs> It's never a day without the technical difficulty. Slightly tuck the chin to the chest, change the stretch ever so slightly. Exhale, good. Come back through center, switch it out. Catch the left ear, elongate the left fingertips down to the mat beside you. Reaching through those left fingertips. Yeah, so Joe's just, you can rest your left hand down even. Yeah, there you go. And then slightly tuck the chin to the chest. Just change the stretch ever so slightly. Feel that change. It might be a big change for some of us. Like the tendons in the neck might uh, be super tight. Good, and then come back through center. Just crawl the hands out in front of you. Come into like, um, yes, like Debbie. <laughs> like you guys know where I'm going. <laughs> Drop your seat back in space. Big breath in here. Exhale. Good. Slowly take your time, roll forward over the knees, make your way into your tabletop position. Moving through a couple rounds of cat cows on the inhale, drop the belly, gaze goes up. Exhale, round through the spine, gaze is at the belly, press the floor away from you. There you go. Inhale, arch up, look up, shine the heart forward, moving with the breath. Exhale, round and hollow, gaze is at the belly. Good. Last round, inhale, drop the belly, gaze goes up. Exhale, round and hollow, press the floor away from you. Good. Now just begin to invite in some organic movement. So finding some side to side motions with the spine, bringing the seat towards the heels. Just moving intuitively, inviting in that feminine energy. So really tapping into your intuition. What does your body need today? Are you cool with a little bit of China gel? Yeah. It feels good. <laughs> good. Reversing the hands on the mat, finding a little wrist stretch, thumbs to the outside. Go ahead and lean back in space. Good. Letting everything go. Notice if you're clenching your jaw, just softening. Just beginning to arrive, finding some kindness, some sweetness, some self-care. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, just let it go. Bring the hands back to neutral. Tuck the toes under and then send the sit bones up and back. Come into your first downward facing dog. Just pedaling out. Daria, I've never gotten to assist you because I wasn't allowed to touch you either in <laughs> Tampa. <laughs> Good, so take a deep bend in one knee, deep bend in the other knee, shaking the head out yes, shaking the head out no. Good. Next inhale, shift forward to your high plank. Exhale, lower your knees, your chest, and your chin down on the mat. Your booty sticks up. Inhale, slide all the way forward to your belly, cobra. And then just release everything down to the mat. Bring the right arm out to the right side of the space, right ear to the mat. Roll onto the right side of the body and drop the left foot behind you. Yeah, you got it, Joe. Good. 
So either staying here, you can wrap that left arm around the lower back, maybe catch the top of the left foot with the hand if you're ready for that. I really like that stretch. It's like a double whammy. You get both, both shoulders open. One more inhale here. Relax your head. There you go. Soft. <laughs> Come all the way back onto your belly and just switch sides. Left arm goes out to the left, left ear to the mat, roll into the left side, and then just drop the right foot behind you. Good. Just softening, taking whatever variation that you took on the other side. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Come all the way back onto your belly. Bring the elbows wide, tent the fingers on the mat, yeah. Good, and then inhale, peel the heart up off the mat. Thanks, Ben. Exhale, lower everything down. Good, inhale, peel the heart up, gaze goes up, find space. Exhale, lower everything down. Last time, inhale, peel the heart up, gaze goes up. Exhale, lower everything down to the mat. Bring the hands in line with the chest, press up into a lazy upward facing dog. Legs can stay down on this first round. Gaze over the right shoulder. Gaze over the left, gaze right, gaze left. Good, tuck the toes under, come back to your downward facing dog. Just shake the head out, yes and no. Next inhale, sweep the right leg up high to the sky, bend the knee, open the hip. Start to circle it out here in one direction, big circles, really getting into the ball and socket joint. So circle the hip. So big circles, there you go. <laughs> Sometimes people don't get it. It's like you gotta go bigger, yeah. And then switch directions if you haven't already. Send the right leg back up high to the sky. Exhale, knee to right elbow, pause here. Just starting to fire up the core a little bit. Just starting to wake things up, building some heat. Inhale, leg goes back high to the sky. Exhale, step it to the outside of the right hand. Come into your high lizard lunge. Drop the hips, open the heart, find space. And then exhale, just straighten it out. Bow to the inside of that right leg. Moving with the breath, inhale, shift it forward. Gaze goes up. Exhale, straighten it out. Last time, inhale, shift it forward. Exhale, straighten it out. Stay here and breathe. Flex the right toes back to the face. Relax the head and neck for three, two, one. Bend back into the right knee. Lower the left knee and then just press the right thigh open. Maybe you drop down to the left forearm if you have space. If you're ready for it, you can bend the back knee for your galaxy pose. Catching the outside of the left foot. And one more breath here, gazes over that right shoulder. Exhale, come back through center. Spin the left shin parallel to the back of the mat. So you're like taking the knee, right? Like in uh, football. I'm like, I know you got this. Walk the hands to the upper left hand corner of the mat and just relax the head, sink into the hips. This is down dog, upper body. Just opening up the, those hips. Inhale. Exhale, slowly make your way back. Tuck the toes under and just step back to your down dog. Good. Next inhale, left leg goes high to the sky. Bend the knee, open the hip. Start to circle it out here in one direction. Big circles. So bigger, Debbie, bigger. Get into the hip. Good. And then switch directions. Good. Inhale, left leg goes high to the sky. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, pause, engage the core. Really press the floor away from you. Three, two, one, inhale, leg goes high. Exhale, step it to the outside of the left hand, high lizard lunge, drop the hips, open the heart, gaze up. Exhale, straighten the left leg, bow to the inside of the left leg. Shift it forward, inhale, gaze up. Exhale, straighten it out, bow. Last round, inhale forward. Exhale, straighten it out. Stay here and breathe. Release the head, release the neck. Deep breath in, soften the jaw. Exhale, one more inhale. Exhale, bend back into the left knee, lower the right, and then press the left thigh open, gazes over that left shoulder. Take your variation if you drop down. 
If you caught the back foot, just really like spiraling, open the torso. Gazes over the left shoulder. Three, two, one. Hand comes back down. Spin the right shin parallel to the back of the mat. Walk the hands off to the upper right hand corner of the mat. Release the head and neck. So just soften, surrender here. So offer it up, right? Just let go of your junk. Let go of like your belief systems. Just be present here on your mat for the next 60 minutes. One more breath. Walk the hands back through center. Tuck the back toes under and step the right foot to meet the left. Hip width distance apart. Let the head hang heavy and just sway side to side. Shaking the head out, yes. Shaking the head out, no. Just releasing the lower back. Good. The hands down to the mat, keep the torso heavy, and begin to roll up, stacking one vertebrae at a time. The head is the last to rise. Take your time. When you reach the top, sweep the arms up overhead, find a full body stretch, big breath. Exhale, bring the hands to prayer at heart center, closing the eyes, just taking a moment here to set an intention for your practice. So maybe that intention is to just find a little bit more self-care, self-love towards yourself, right? Here on your mat today, and then also like out in your life, right? Finding some self-compassion, just being kind to yourself, right? We get so like caught up in our, our checklists, our dialogue, that we forget to take the time to slow down and do something good for ourselves, right? Maybe that's your yoga practice. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, good. Gently blink the eyes open, front of the mat, toes and heels to touch. Surya Namaskare, sun salutation A. Inhale, arms up, palms press, gaze goes up. Exhale, fold it forward over straight legs. Inhale, look forward and lengthen. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, open the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe here, deep breath in. Starting to cultivate your ujjayi breathing. In and out through the nose. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, empty out. Two more breaths. With every inhale, just picture like the waves retreating from the shoreline. And with every exhale, imagine the waves crashing on the shoreline. So it sounds like you're at the beach. Deep breath in. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, step or float forward between the hands. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, arms up, palms press, gaze goes up. Exhale, arms by the side, Tadasana. Two more times, just like that. Inhale, arms up, palms press, gaze up. Exhale, fold it forward, bow. Good, inhale, look forward and lengthen since you can't like reach the mat, so come here. And then exhale, plant the hands, step or float, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, deep breath in. My hands are cold today, I'm sorry. It's like an ice pack, right? Inhale. <laughs> Exhale. Good, deep breath in. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, step or float forward between the hands. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, arms up, palms press. Exhale, arms by the side, Tadasana. Last time, inhale, arms up, palms press, gaze up. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, nice true. Exhale, downward facing dog, breathe, inhale. Exhale, good, deep breath in, filling up, expanding the belly. Exhale, empty completely, feel the lower belly start to engage and lift at the bottom of your exhale. Feel the bandhas, the locks start to ignite. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, step or float forward between the hands. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, arms up, palms press, gaze goes up. Exhale, arms by the side, Tadasana, moving on. I'm gonna do this with you guys. So hook the thumbs out in front of you, reach up and arch your back, 
press your hips forward. Exhale, bend knees, swing arms, clasp hands, straighten out the arms and legs, sorry. Hands come down, step the right foot back, runner's lunge, gaze goes up. Exhale, left foot back, down dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower your knees, your chest, and your chin. Inhale, slide to cobra. Exhale, stay low, press it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward, lunge. Exhale, left foot forward, fold. Inhale, bend knees, hook thumbs, reach up, arch your back, come all the way up. Exhale, bend knees, swing arms, clasp hands, straighten it out. Hands come down, step the left foot back, runners lunge, gaze up. Exhale, right foot back, down dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin. Inhale, slide to cobra. Exhale, stay low, press it back, down dog. Inhale, step the left foot forward, lunge. Exhale, right foot forward, fold. Inhale, bend knees, hook thumbs, reach up, arch your back. Exhale, bend knees, swing arms, clasp hands. Straighten out the arms and legs. Hands come down, step the right foot back, lower the right knee, and then sweep the arms up to the sky and drop the left arm behind you. Find this low lunge with a little twist. So reaching through the right fingertips. Big breath here, sink a little bit deeper in the left knee. One more inhale. Exhale, hands come down, skandasana back of the mat. Flip the left toes high. Yeah, ground through that right heel. Find length all the way from the tailbone through the crown of the head good for three take your variation maybe open up the arms to fly for two one come back to the front of the mat ground the right hand left hand goes high this just for a breath bringing out the spine Exhale, hands come down sweep the left leg up and back behind you three-legged dog shift forward to your three-legged plank opportunity for ekapana Inhale, upward facing, nice bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin. Inhale, the cobra, stay here, hover the hands. Press the tops of the feet into the mat for three, two, one. Release the chest, press it back, down dog. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, round and curl. Inhale, leg goes high. Exhale, step it forward, rise up in your high lunge, high on the ball, the back foot. Keep that deep bend in the right knee. Big breath in. On the exhale, start to shift the weight forward, the left knee all the way up and into the chest. Good. Drape the left leg up and over the right. Left arm goes underneath the right, come into your eagle arms, and then try to sink it nice and low. So full. Eagle pose, Garudasana. Good. Finding one point of focus. One more breath here. And then stay low, sit back in your chair pose, unwind everything. Hook the left tricep on the outside of the right thigh, twist. Deep breath in. Exhale, twist. Two more breaths, inhale. Exhale, twist. Last one, inhale. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, hook the thumbs, reach up, arch your back, press your hips forward. Exhale, bend knees, swing arms, clasp hands, straighten it out. Hands come down, step the left foot back, lower the left knee, sweep the arms up, and then drop the right arm to the back of the left thigh. Reach through the left fingertips, keep that deep bend in the right knee, sink a little bit deeper. Feel the release in the front of the right hip, or left hip. Debbie, bend deeper, one, like, little bit, little bit, yes. Exhale, hands come down, skandasana, back of the mat, bend into the left knee, right toes go high. Yeah, find that length from the tailbone through the crown of the head. Maybe open up the arms, inhale. Exhale, hands come down, find your twist, left hand grounds, right hand goes high, ring the heart open, inhale. 
Exhale, right hand down, send the right leg high to the sky. Shift forward to your three-legged plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower your knees, your chest, and your chin down on the mat. Inhale, slide to cobra. Hover the hands, press the tops of the feet into the mat. And then reach the arms forward. And then exhale, pull it back. Goddess arms, lift a little bit higher. Two more times, inhale, reach. Exhale, pull it back. One more time, inhale, lift or reach. Exhale, pull it back, stay here for three, two, one. Release the chest down, press it back, downward facing dog. Good, inhale, left leg goes high. Exhale, knee to nose, round and curl. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, step it forward, rise up in your high lunge. Find your high lunge, find your foundation. Beautiful, you guys. Try to straighten out that right leg. So think, think about pressing the back of the right leg up to the sky. And then start to shift the weight forward, draw the right knee up and into the chest. Soften into the left knee, drape the right leg across the body. Right arm goes under left. Hug everything in nice and tight. Take your time here, set this up. Garudasana, eagle pose. Good for three, two, one. Stay low, sit the seat back in space, chair. Exhale, twist, hook the right tricep on the outside of the left thigh. Hands to prayer. Inhale, finding length. Exhale, twist. Good, inhale. Exhale, one more big breath. Exhale, fold it forward over straight legs. Bend the knees, hook the thumbs, reach up, arch your back. Exhale, come to stand. Tadasana, arms by the side. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, just let it go. Ukatasana chair pose, bend the knees, arms up, palms press, gaze goes up. Exhale, fold it forward over straight legs. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward, rise up in your warrior one. Ground through the knife's edge of the back foot. Hips are nice and square to the front of the space. So drop your back heel. And then bend a little bit deeper. Good, one more inhale here. Exhale, hands down, chaturanga. Inhale, Urva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog. Exhale, Adha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward, warrior one, strong warrior. Virabhadrasana A. So walk your foot on your mat. There you go. <laughs> and then square the hips, reach the arms up. Good, one more breath, inhale. Exhale, hands down, chaturanga, flow. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Reconnecting to your breath. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Good, inhale, exhale, press into my hand. So, like, press the space between your shoulder blades into my hand. Other way, that way. Yeah, that's like your strong down dog. Bend the knees, inhale, step or float forward between the hands. Exhale, fold. Inhale, ukatasana, chair pose, bend the knees, arms up. Exhale, fold it right back down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. There you go, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward, warrior one. Good, open warrior two, heel to arch alignment. Walk the foot forward, beautiful dub. Good, flip the right hand, reach up, reach back, reverse your warrior. Reach through those right fingertips, keep the deep bend in the right knee. Good, walk this foot forward a little bit. There you go, better. Good, extended side angle, right hand down, left hand goes up and over. Gaze goes up past those left fingertips. Nice, Drew. Sandy, can you bend deeper? No, not today. That's okay, you do you. You know, you know your body. 
<laughs> Good. One more inhale. Exhale, left hand down, right hand goes high. Find your twist. Gaze goes up. And then roll onto the knife edge of the left foot, Vashistasana. Maybe you try it with the big toe bind, kicking that right leg up to the sky, or you just stack. Lift up through that left side body for three, two. Drop the right foot behind you, flip your dog, come into your wild thing. Press the hips up to the sky, reach to the front of the space. Big breath in here. Exhale, land the right hand down. Thread the right leg underneath the body. Come into your fallen triangle, or you catch that right foot and swing it around out in front of you for the variation. Or you just lift the hips for three, to listen up. You're just gonna take a seat. <laughs> so for a wide leg forward fold, let's catch our breath, right? So widen the legs, sit up nice and tall, inhale. Exhale, fold between the legs, release the head, release the neck. Just take a breather. <laughs> huh? You can't get down, is that what you said? Strap, oh yeah, I have straps. But that's not gonna work in this. <laughs> but I'll help you with this. Not, there's nothing that you can do with a strap here. But just release the head and neck. Yeah. Plant your hands. You're here. That's you. <laughs> All right. Slowly sit back up. Just take a simple twist to the back of the mat. Right hand to the outside of the left thigh. Sit up nice and tall. Simple twist to the front of the mat. Gaze over the right shoulder. Plant the hands back to the front of the mat. Use your core, start to lift your hips, roll into the ball of the left foot and send the right leg back high. Exhale, just release the right foot next to the left, down dog. Inhale, step the left foot forward, rise up, warrior one. Ground your neck, back foot, back foot. There you go. Open warrior two. So heel to arch, look at your feet. There you go, good. Flip the left hand, reach up, reach back, reverse. Keep that deep bend, find this length for three, two, one extended side angle, left hand down, right hand goes up and over, or you modify. Yeah, good, I like it. Good, maybe you bind, breathe. One more breath. Exhale, right hand down, left hand goes high, twist the heart open to the sky, gaze goes up past the left fingertips. Roll into the knife's edge of the back foot, Vashistasana. Maybe you collect that big toe and send it high to the sky. Rachel, I know you're doing that at home. <laughs> nice, Saskia, I can see you. You got it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Joe, you got it. And then drop the left foot behind you, flip your dog, like Daria, she's got it. <laughs> Reach to the front of the house, lift the hips. There you go, good. And then flip it back over, left hand down, thread the left leg through. Maybe you catch the foot, maybe you just do like Ben, press the hips up. <laughs> there you go, for three, two, one. Come down to your seat, facing the back left corner of the space. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, square the shoulders over the right leg, and then exhale, fold over the right leg. So this is where the strap will work. <laughs> yep, so here, pull, like think about pulling your heart through. Yeah, good, breathe, good, one more breath. Come back through center, square the shoulders over the left leg, so switch. And then exhale, fold over the left leg. Good, three, two, one. Inhale, sit back up. Just take that simple twist over the right leg again. Simple twist over the left leg. Plant the hands back to the mat. Use your core, press the floor away from you. Roll onto the ball of the right foot, send the left leg high. And then just come back to your downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, step your foot forward between the hands. 
Exhale, fold. I'm meant to give you that. Inhale, Ukatasana, chair pose. Bend the knees, arms up. Exhale, fold it right back down over straight legs. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, Urva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward, warrior one. All right, and then bend the right elbow, place the right hand between the shoulder blades, catch the right elbow with the left hand. Press the head back into the arms, keep that deep bend in the right knee. Maybe you sweep the left arm underneath and catch the right hand for your Gomukhasana arms. Maybe. If not, you stay here. No worries. Just feel the stretch. One more big breath. Inhale. Exhale. Unwind the arms. Sweep the right arm underneath the left. Eagle arms. Press the forearms away from you. Keep the deep bend in the right knee. Trace the line down the wall. Find a little back bend. And then on the inhale, shift the weight forward, float the left foot, come into your warrior three. Good. Float the left leg, flexing that left foot. One more breath. Unwind the arms, Ardha Chandrasana, right hand down, left hand goes high, stack the left hip on top of the right. Gaze goes up past those left fingertips. Maybe take a little bit of weight out of the right fingertips. Good, three, two, one. Soften into the right knee, land it back in your warrior two. Heel to arch alignment. Good, straighten everything out, catch the right wrist. Just lean, open up through the right side. And then exhale, arms come back to its feet, shorten the step. Asana, reach, reach, reach. And on top of the right shin, ankle, or you can grab that big toe if you have that in your practice. Breathe. Drew, turn your right foot forward more. There you go. Are you good here, Sandy? No, I'm, I'm not going to touch you then. I don't want to like screw you up. <laughs> good. Deep breath in. Start to reach the left arm forward to the front of the house. So find the length all the way through the left side of the body. Good, reach through the left fingertips. And then release the hands down. Frame the right foot with the hands. Walk the back foot in like two feet for your pyramid pose. Inhale, lift up and lengthen. Exhale, fold over the right leg. Release the head and neck. Good, breathe here. Drawing the right hip back in space. So try to straighten out both of your legs. Walk the back foot in a little bit more. So like here, good. And then lift up, exhale, fold. One more breath, good. Lift up and lengthen. Revolve Trikonasana. Left hand to the outside of the right foot, right arm goes high. So Drew, use the block underneath your face. Sandy, like the hand can stay underneath the face if you need to have it here. The goal is to have it on the outside of the right foot. So Heather, you might be able to do it. Like here. Yeah, you got it. Good. Good. All right, three, two, one. Hands come down. Bend into the right knee and just step it back. Chaturanga, pull through your vinyasa. Inhale, Urva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward, warrior one. Rise up. Stay here. And then bend the left elbow and catch the left elbow with the right hand. Keep the deep bend in the left knee. Press the head back into the bicep. Maybe you sweep the right arm under, come into your Gomukhasana arms. Keep pressing the head back into the arms, sink into that left knee. Big breath here. Exhale, unwind the arms. Sweep the left arm underneath the right. Eagle arms, press the forearms away from you and then trace the line down the ceiling. Find a little back bend just for a breath. Good. Next inhale, start to shift the weight forward, warrior three. Ooh, I can't do that one. <laughs> Good, flexing the right foot. Strong, so Debbie, flex your right foot, strong. So 
Yes, there you go. Unwind the arms, Ardha Chandrasana, left hand down, right hand goes high. Stack the right hip on top of the left. Gaze goes up past those right fingertips. Maybe take a little bit of weight out of the fingertips. Good, soften into the left knee, land it back in your warrior two. Good, straighten everything out, catch the left wrist, just lean to the back of the space, open up through the left side of the body. Good, arms come back to a T, shorten the stance for your trikonasana triangle pose, reach, reach, reach forward. And then when you can't reach any further, just land the left hand on top of the left shin, ankle, or you can grab that big toe. You're good. Good, breathe. Good. Start to reach the right arm forward. Find the length through the right arm, through the right fingertips, turn the pinky down. There you go. Good. One more big breath, inhale. Exhale, both hands come down to the mat, frame the left foot, walk the right foot in a little bit for your pyramid pose. Left toes forward, yeah. Lift up, exhale, bow over the left leg. Coming for you. <laughs> Good. Breathe. Notice if you're clenching your jaw. Come back to your intention, right? Finding that compassion, that sweetness, that softness towards yourself. Inhale, lift up halfway. Revolve trikonasana, right hand to the outside of the left foot. Left hand goes high. Nice, Heather. Good. Twisting out the spine. Debbie, walk the back foot in a little bit. Stronger foundation. Yeah, like you see how short Ben's stance is? Yeah, can be really short, totally. Good. And then release the hands down, step it back, vinyasa. Inhale, Urva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, good. Next, inhale, shift forward to your high plank. Holding here, engaging the core, pressing the space up between the shoulders. Press up, there you go. And then lower down to your mat for five, four, elbows in nice and tight, three, two, one more breath, one, release everything down. Shalabhasana. Arms come long alongside the body. Next, inhale, lift everything up off the mat, fly. Good, try to bring the toes and heels together to touch. Grab my wrists, so grab my wrists. There you go. One more big breath, inhale. Exhale, release everything down, gaze in one direction, just rest. Bring one ear to the mat, sorry. She likes to give kisses when we come down to the mat. Violet, stop it. <laughs> Like, if you don't like dogs, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right, come back to your center. Interlace the hands at the lower back. Next, inhale, press the fist to the back of the room, lift everything up off the mat. Are you good here, Sandy? Okay, good. I'm like, I feel like I could do this. Try to bring that. One more big breath. Exhale, lower everything down. <laughs> rest, if you can, rest. <laughs> Bring one ear to the mat. There you go. Good. Violet. <laughs> She's like making her rounds. All right. Bring the hands back alongside the chest and just press up onto your knees. Let's take camel pose. So come up onto your knees, hips stacked over knees. Knees and feet are hip width distance apart. Hands to the lower back for support. If your lower back is tight, tuck the toes under, okay? Press the hips forward, puff up through the heart center. Keep pressing the hips forward. Keep puffing up through the heart center. Drop the head back. Press the hips forward, puff up the chest. When you're at your edge, maybe land the hands to the heels. Good, keep pressing the hips forward. <laughs> Puff the chest up to the sky. Good, stay here. One more breath, inhale. 
Exhale. Good. When you come up, come down and have a seat between the heels. So Drew, sit on a block. Yeah, maybe give Sandy one if you're going to be nice. <laughs> so come into your Varasana Heroes Pose. Just take a seat between the heels. Stay here, this is fine. Like this is a lot for a lot of us, right? Yes. Or you start to recline and coming all the way down. If, uh, take it to your edge. So either you're just like here, you're here, maybe you're coming all the way onto your back. If you're on your back, you can reach the arms up overhead and grab opposite elbows. Or you just stay there. Yeah. <laughs> like. Or you're like Heather and you just smell like a pancake. <laughs> okay. Just breathe. And then when you're ready, just slowly make your way back up. Plant the hands out in front of you. Extend one leg back behind you. Give it a couple pulses. Bring some blood back to the, that leg. And then extend the other leg back behind you. Give it a couple pulses. Good. Tuck the toes under, press back into your downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, gaze forward between the hands and just jump through to your seat. Setting up for Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, knees go out wide. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. And then exhale, just fold forward. Yeah, over the feet. So like how this. Debbie. <laughs> Okay, breathe. Good, slowly start to sit all the way back up. And just come to lying on your back. We're gonna take two back bends of your choice. So you can start with a bridge pose or you can move straight into your full wheel. Five breaths in each back bend, two back bends. So yogi's honor. So maybe take a bridge pose like Daria here. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Let me grab a strap, hang on. All right, so you're gonna come back down. Okay. Yep. And then next inhale, you're going to lift again. Okay. I got to do it this way. <laughs> okay. So lift. Little support. Good. Try to ground your feet. Good. When you're done with your back bends, come into your happy baby. All right. There you go. So hug the knees into the chest, rock the sacrum side to side, and then catch the outside edges of the feet with the hands. Happy baby. Massage the lower back, just neutralizing the spine. Grab behind the knees, rock and roll the entire length of your mat, coming all the way up to your seat for Paschimottanasana. Seated forward fold. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Yes, use your strap if you have it. And then exhale, fold. Joe, I got a strap for you. I should have just left this one. <laughs> Good. So catch and then pull. Yeah, there you go. Keep the legs straight and then like pull your heart forward. Good. One more breath here. You got your toes done, huh? Cute. Slowly start to sit back up. Come back to lying on your back, setting up for your shoulder stand. So send the legs up high overhead, hips stacked over the shoulders, hands to the lower back. Reversing the flow of the blood in the body and sealing in your practice. Try to bring the toes and heels together to touch. Lift the legs a little bit higher. Good. Drop the feet overhead. Halasana, plow pose. Poison removing pose. So this pose is said to remove the toxins from the body to remove any toxic thoughts, right? anything that doesn't serve you. 
Good. Bend the knees, hug the sides of the ears with the knees. Karna Pindasana, deaf man's pose, blocking out the sense of hearing. Release the hands, use the hands as brakes. Begin to roll all the way down to your mat, one vertebrae at a time. Take your time. When you reach the bottom, setting up for Matsyasana, fish pose. Come high into the forearms, puff the chest up to the sky, like you're looking at somebody playing in the water at the beach. And then drop the head behind you. Try to touch the crown of the head down to the mat behind you. Good. Exhale out through the mouth, lion's breath. Just moving any stagnant energy out of the body. Moving anything out of the body that no longer serves you. Just sigh it out, let it go. Last chance to let go of any last bits of stagnant energy. Deep breath in. Exhale. Release. Either coming into your final resting pose, or you can take a headstand, a handstand if you need an inversion to feel like your practice is complete. If you need any other last minute postures, take them. If not, just rest, take up space. Let the body get heavy. And just rest. Good.
Begin to deepen your breathing. Start to invite some conscious movement back into the body. Wiggling the fingers and toes, dropping the head over to one side and then the other. Reach the arms up overhead, find a full body stretch, take a deep breath in. Exhale, just let it go. Good. Draw the knees into the chest and roll over onto one side. Resting in your fetal pose for as long as you need to. Coming back to this place of rebirth. Starting your day fresh, right? With a clear mind. And as you're ready, making your way back up to your seats, keeping the eyes closed, and closing the practice with the mantra. Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free from suffering. And may our thoughts, words, and actions contribute to that happiness and freedom for all. <clears throat> center, bowing your chin to your chest, knowing and trusting that the true teacher lies inside of each and every one of you. Together we bow. Namaste.